How's Belle doing today? I wish I knew. She's had some sort of relapse and she's run off and we don't know where she's got to. Belle's gone missing? Yeah. You must be worried sick. Listen, if you see her, can you call one of the family and keep her at the shop until one of us gets here? Yeah, of course. And we're organising search parties, so if any of your customers can help... Yeah, I'll ask around. And I'll do anything I can and all. I've got farm visits today. I'll ask them to double-check the barns. Ness, what do you think of this outfit? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Nice? That's how you're describing Nan's Victoria sponge. I need that wow factor from a date with Pete. Belle's gone missing. Oh, at least she was in a bad way, but... He's organising search parties. I'm not sure why my love life's such a disaster. I mean, Peter really fit. It's not half as dull as what I thought he'd be. <laughs> I just can't stop thinking about Marlon. I was going to be feeling the bell missing. Mm. One bloke at a time, eh? Oh, here comes Pete. <clears throat> Hello. You ready? I, um, I can't come. What? Why? What's wrong? I, uh, I just remembered there's, there's somewhere else I'm supposed to be. I thought we were going for a drink. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm really sorry. Yeah, no worries. Like you say, one blog at a time, eh? Hi. Hmm? Stuck. <sighs> Hoping that hit you in the heart. I'm off to the hospital. They're planning on bringing Dad out of his coma soon. So... Now he's almost conscious. Have you thought any more about him coming to stay with us? It'd be really good if I could tell him we had plans for his release. Um, yes! Well, I'm glad I caught you before you sneaked off, cos you've been at me stuff again, haven't you? Oh, don't get your knickers in a twist. It's only a bit of shampoo. Well, it's not like the cheap swill that you buy. All right, that cost me a fortune. Oh, well, you were robbed, cos your hair still looks ratty. Oh, come on! Can you two not get on for 30 seconds? Do you know Cheers, Pete. I was expecting to be drinking with Carly. Do you know what? Sometimes I think I'll never understand what makes women sick. Yeah, tell me about it. I mean, I asked her out on a date yesterday, but it wasn't a date, it was just for drinks. You know, she agreed, I turned up. She changed her mind. I mean, what is all that about, eh? Yeah, I reckon it's hormones. Oh, hi, Pete. Did Tracy have to move in with us? Cos that house ain't big enough and it's getting way too crowded. Still determined to marry that girl? <clears throat> Actually, you can help me with that. I mean, proposing to her every day and she still hasn't said yes. Are you getting any new ideas? Yeah, stop asking. That's not very helpful. I don't know. I always think things sound more romantic in Italian. So maybe try that. Hi. Hey. Are you staying? No. I wouldn't want to interrupt your next proposal. This one could be your passport to Dolce Vita. So she's been slagging me off? No. Nope. Hmm. Well, at least she can't interrupt this time. So my dad. Oh, yeah, how is he? Same. But he never answered my question earlier about him staying when he gets out. Well, we, we might be married by then. I, I haven't even said yes yet. Which is another reason for not wanting anyone else in our space. Uh, we'd have a lot more room if Leila moved out. And then dad would know he had somewhere to go. J.K. is at an impressionable age. Uh, he might get a bit of stick, you know, at school if we've got an ex-con staying. 